What does it say right there at the bottom, the purpose that's being reported that the $750,000 is for? To remodel uh, of the house in Edisto. <clears throat> does it say anything about sending $350,000 to Chris Wilson to try to make up the funds that he had diverted from his law firm? No, sir. Does it say anything about $400,000 to cover a $347,000 overdraft? No, sir. After June 7th, was the first significant activity from the bank to Alec to provide that $350,000 off the books with no application whatsoever? Yes, sir. And after June the 7th, did his account run to negative $347,000? Yes, sir. And the bank kept paying? Yes, sir. Perhaps the most generous overdraft policy ever seen? <laughs> Quite possibly. You were asked a little bit about Zero United and Redbeard, which are up on the screen. The bank did not foreclose on those properties, is that correct? That is correct. So Alec Murdoch still owned those properties, correct? He and partners, yes, sir. All right, but if he were to try to sell them, could he have sold them without having to account to the bank? He would have had to pay back the uh, monies he owed, had borrowed from the bank. And we see that we up on that screen, what happened to Mike <clears throat> If he had sold, tried to sell those properties, would he have just had to uh, pay the bank those amounts listed there, or could it potentially be much higher than that? Potentially much higher. And explain to the court very quickly why it could be much higher than that, that he would have to satisfy before he could sell those properties. There would be uh, accrued interest and any late charges and fees that accumulated since the, the date of the charge-off. Once y'all charged it off, it no longer was accruing interest and penalties and fees on the books at least, correct? Yes, sir. But if you were to, uh, if he was to try to sell that property and, and the buyer came to you or to, uh, to see how much they needed to pay y'all out of the proceeds before title could transfer, y'all would go back and look at all that interest that hadn't been paid over that time. Yes, we'd provide a payoff statement which would have included principal uh, accrued interest or lost interest to that date and uh, any late fees and charges. And he would be unable to sell those properties and transfer title until some arrangement was reached with the bank? Yes, sir. We just, uh, you were just asked about whether or not Maggie was going to be meeting an appraisal at the Edisto property, but you've testified in no uncertain terms that that appraisal was to renew the mortgage that was already in existence that had matured, correct? Yes, sir. It had nothing to do with a new 750? Yes, sir. We just uh, talked about the negative $347,000 overdraft policy, correct? Yes, sir. In two months, his account had went to negative $347,000. Yes, sir. If it had come out that Alec Murdoch had been diverting fees from his law firm, if Alec Murdoch had been forced to resign from his law firm, if it had come out that he had been misappropriating money from his clients, would the bank have continued to pay charges coming in on that account? No, sir. No. No, sir. No uncertain terms about that. No, no uncertain terms. So all this testimony about the relationship in the bank, if the truth had come out, it's a new ball game, correct? Yes, sir. And in the wake of all of this, Russell Lafitte was terminated and you became CEO, is that correct? Yes, sir. And now there's a new sheriff in town at Palmetto State Bank, correct? Yes, sir. Thank you.